Hi, everybody. Who all is on? Can you see us? Woohoo! We are live, everybody. Who is excited about seeing Father Cooper make resurrection rolls? And Father Cooper, who's your little assistant there? I have an assistant because certainly Father Cooper is not used to being in the kitchen. So you want to give everyone your name? Lucy! Yeah! <laughs> Lucy's going to assist me today. Yes, she is, and it's going to be super fun. We just hope that she's a good assistant, right? You're going to be a good assistant? And then we have our other less than helpful the, assistant uh, over here. <laughs> yep. We have the whole back crew. <laughs> yes, we do. Yes, we do. Right. So we're going to wait a little bit just for everybody to hop on. So far, we have 14 people. We are so excited that y'all are here. So this is a really great recipe for y'all to do if you especially are having to watch your kids or grandkids for like 10 days or however long season's out. This is a fun little activity that takes like 15 minutes start to finish. So yeah, it's gonna be so fun. All right, let's see, we're getting a bunch more. Woohoo, hi everybody. So Lucy, are you excited? Yeah. So what are you making with Father Cooper? Yeah. Are these good? Yeah. Yeah. So. Is that the same thing as a Chinese egg roll? <laughs> <laughs> you know, this is actually pretty funny. Who thinks that we may need to do this again? I'm, I'm thinking that this might need to be a different. Bring the Chinese egg roll. Yeah, I like it. There we go. Okay, so what all do we have here? It says that we need three simple ingredients. So. Lucy or Father Cooper, what ingredients do we need right. to make these? Lucy, in order to make these resurrection rolls, what's the first ingredient we're using here? You know? Um, what do we need? What's on the tray? What's on the tray? Duh. That's right. So dough. refrigerated biscuit dough. Refrigerated biscuit dough. So we have our, we have our dough here for those of you who want um, uh, the quick and easy way. Uh, you get... From the refrigerator, right? From a can, from the a stuff can. you pop. For those of you who are more like Julia Child, you can make it from scratch, but that's way beyond my capability. <laughs> so we're going to use the part that comes right out the refrigerator. Now, Lucy, do you know what the dough is supposed to represent in the resurrection roll? What does the dough represent? You just told us. A tomb. A tomb. That's right. A tomb. So we know that after Jesus was crucified, they laid him in a tomb, a new tomb that was carved out of rock. And so the biscuit dough represents our tomb. Now, in order to make the resurrection roll, what do we have to do with this biscuit dough? Do you know? Do, do we, we just leave them? Do we leave them just, just like that? Like this? What do we have to do? Well, do we need to prepare the tomb? So do you have to do something with this? What were you wanting to do for the last 10 minutes? <laughs> what goes in there, Lucy? What do you do? What do you do, Lucy? You smash yeah. them. All you right. smash one for me? <laughs> All right. Very good. Very good. So we're going to smash. Smash another one. Smush them, smush them. Get them all nice and flat. For our tombs. Yeah. Because it was a new tomb. It was a new tomb. Awesome. Yeah. You want to do another one for me? There we go. Put all your strength into it. Yep. Also a great way to wear out your children. <laughs> all the strength goes into this. Poor pastor. That's it. <laughs> all right. Awesome. Marilyn says that you're doing a great job, Father and Lucy. Oh, Y'all are doing go. great. <laughs> Thank Send in you. Send your recipes and we'll maybe make something else next time. Yeah. That All sounds right. fun. All right, so we have our tombs. Yay. Now, let's remember, if we think of the story from the gospel, so Joseph of Arimathea had a new tomb, and so we prepared all of these tombs here for our resurrection rolls. Mm -hmm. Now, who was laid in the tomb? Do you know, Lucy? Jesus. That's right. Jesus was laid in the tomb on Good Friday. And so what do we use to represent Jesus in our resurrection rolls? Marshmallows. Marshmallows. Ooh, awesome. yum. So where did the marshmallows go? 
in the middle. Awesome. Okay, so we need each one needs to have a marshmallow. So it was like there, but we only need to draw like that one. Okay. Just like that. <laughs> Lucy said they have to go just like that. Oh boy. Not turned over. Can they go like this? No? <laughs> I like doing that. You like it like this? Okay. Well, whatever works. That's right. So Jesus is in the tomb. Awesome. So there we have Jesus. So we have our tomb, and then we have Jesus in the tomb. And then the scripture says early in the morning, the women came to anoint the body with Jesus. And when, he, when they came to anoint the body with Jesus, they brought what? Do you know, remember? What did they bring? Lucy, what did they bring? What yeah. They, bring? they brought special spices, they right? They brought spices to anoint the body with, of Jesus. So do you know what that spice is in your hands, Lucy? What's that? Cinnamon sugar. Cinnamon sugar. Awesome. Yum. So what do we do with this? It's okay, so we sprinkle them on top of Jesus, right? Yep. We definitely recommend that you have some kind of... Right. Well, there we, we go. You need to do a lot? Okay, you need to do a lot. Try. Okay, I can try. All right. Y'all are doing great. So we need to do a lot. Is that enough, or should, we, should I do more? That's enough. That's enough? <laughs> Ooh, look at that. That's a lot. Job, Lucy. Awesome. Mm -hmm. They look good, huh? You want to do one over there? <coughs> awesome. These are yummy. Oh, yeah. They smell yummy. You want to do the last one, Lucy? All right. <coughs> awesome. So yeah. we have anointed the body of Jesus with our cinnamon sugar. And our resurrection rolls. So we're going to put that to the side. Now, when Jesus was put in the tomb, was the tomb sealed, Lucy? Do you remember? It was sealed. And so we have to seal up these tombs. So how do we do that? We take the sides and we make sure what? No, no white is showing. No yeah. white is showing. Or brown. Or brown. Okay. So we have to seal them up really, really good. Explosion. And smush it down. We'll make sure it sticks. We'll make sure it sticks. And then take another side. Okay. Put it like this. And put it like that. And then you got the other side. And you got the other side. And you stick it and smush it all together, huh? And then take the last side. Mm -hmm. Smush it together. We want to make sure we don't see Jesus. <laughs> that's, that's how I make it. That's how I make it? Look at that. Man, Lucy, you look like a pro. Look at that. You're a pro. We still got all these. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Am I, oh, oh, oh. Mine's not. Oh, I got a little hole. Yeah, that's okay, though. That's okay, though? Okay. Well, thank you, Lucy, for helping me. I had a little hole. So I need to make sure, because the tomb is supposed to be sealed completely, because the stone went in front of the tomb. So let's try this one here. So we do one That's side, the rock that I make. and then we should do this other okay. side. And then you do the third side. <laughs> and so we have our resurrection rolls. Resurrection rolls. You got it? No. No? I need really help. <laughs> you need help? Oh, you got it. You got it. There you go. Yeah, Look, it's sealed. It. It's totally sealed. Just three more. Three more. And then we have all of our resurrection rolls prepared. As we seal Jesus in the tomb.
dog, Rooster. There we go. All right, just one more. One more. Just one more. You do the last one. I do the last one? Okay. Mm -hmm. We do our last <laughs> one. And then we seal Jesus completely in the tomb. And so, all right, my friends. So we have our resurrection rolls. And then we put it in the oven. We put it in the oven? Is it like the story of Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego? Is the oven real, real hot? Not quite like that. <laughs> Just to 350. <laughs> Just to 350 degrees. So where's the oven? <laughs> All right, so we bring these to the oven, right? And our oven's at, what, 350 degrees, right? So then we open the oven. And we place them in the oven. And then what do we do? We wait three days? No, just for one. Just Not for just one. for okay. one. <laughs> we don't wait three days. So Jesus is going to rise in three days. Three days or ten minutes. Or um, So we're going to pray. Ten minutes. Ten minutes. <laughs> ten minutes, ten minutes. 350 degrees. So do we want to wait ten minutes? I don't think so. So let's pray over the oven. I'm going to ask that the Lord is going to allow these things to rise. Because we're celebrating and preparing to celebrate the resurrection. And so as we prepare to celebrate the resurrection, we ask that the Lord, we pray over this oven so that 10 minutes just disappears. And guess what? Because we're on social media, it just disappears. And so we get our completed resurrection, resurrection rolls. Where are our completed rolls, Lucy? You know? Where are they? Right there. What do we have? So when we're done, when they come out of the oven, we need to let them cool down. We gotta let them cool down. Like they are right now. So at 350 degrees for 10 minutes, and we let them cool down. And we have these beautiful resurrection rolls. These are going to look just like that. So what, just like this. So what happens when you take a bite? Someone, someone, should, someone should take a bite. So what happens when you take a bite? What happens? Is, where's Jesus? In the tomb. Well, we think so. Why don't you take, why don't a, bite? You take a bite? And I'll take a bite. You take this one? Okay. So right. what is Jesus and in the I'll resurrection world? He's a marshmallow, right? Is it good? He's not there anymore. He's not there anymore? You're right. Can I see? Look, there's no marshmallow. He's not there anymore. He's what? Risen. Risen. Yeah. There is no marshmallow there is left. No marshmallow. She right. was there when it was open. It was That's open. right. That's right. And so look, the tomb is empty. So Let's yeah. see. You know that means she was look crying at... on a stone, and then Jesus came to mm -hmm. her. And Jesus came to her, and he, and he called her by what name? He said, Mary. Mm -hmm. And she said, Rabboni, teacher. Awesome. And so these are our wonderful resurrection rolls. Are they tasty, Lucy? They're very tasty. <laughs> and they're very good. And in the inside, where Jesus was as our marshmallow, he's risen. And we have this nice, tasty treat for Easter morn. So, Linda, we totally agree. These are great things to make on Sunday. Our family always has it right after we go to Mass on Sunday. There we go. Father, what, what time are our Easter Masses? So we um, have our solemn Easter Vigil on Saturday, which starts at 8 p.m. And then on Easter morning, uh, which is April the 4th this year, of course, this Sunday, Masses are at 8.30 a.m., 10.30 a.m., and then we celebrate our Spanish Mass at 12.30 uh, in the afternoon. Uh, and so we are looking forward to beginning the Easter Triduum tonight. 
with the Mass of the Lord's Supper at 7 p.m., and then celebrating uh, Good Friday with the Liturgy of the Lord's Passion at 3 p.m., and then certainly entering into the great celebration of Easter. And so we do hope that you all join us, certainly uh, in person. And if you're not able to join us in person, you can join us live uh, on uh, social media uh, and on our website uh, as um, uh, the Mass of the Lord's Supper tonight at 7, uh, the Good Friday service, the Liturgy of the Lord's Passion at 3 p.m., and then Easter Mass, uh, Sunday morning at 8.30 a.m. We'll all be live streamed uh, on our parish website, on our Facebook page, on our YouTube channel as well. I think I have them all there, um, uh, but certainly I'm not the technology person. Um, uh, but these are delicious. And so, Lucy, you did a great job. I was so glad that you were here to help me um, in the kitchen today, uh, because Father Cooper is not known for his cooking skills. And I thank you for loaning me uh, this nice hat uh, <laughs> as we prepare to end the season of Lent. Uh, with the Mass of the Lord's Supper and enter, enter into Easter Triduum, and as we prepare to celebrate the glory of Easter, um, and your polka dot apron with the pink, you look very much ready for Easter, Lucy. Very nice. <laughs> very nice. Great job. And so everyone, we do, on behalf of myself and all of us here at Divine Mercy Parish, uh, we do wish you uh, a blessed uh, Triduum, uh, and certainly a very blessed and happy Easter, and certainly we hope that you join us for the celebration of Holy Mass, be assured of our prayers for each and every one of you, and certainly uh, send us your comments, send us your other favorite Easter recipes, uh, and maybe we'll have some, some something on Ascension or Pentecost, uh, who knows what is um, out there. But we know everyone has their own family tradition, so share those with us. Um, and so I will close by saying to you, um, not only a happy and blessed Easter, but also my dear friends, uh, as my great aunt, who was an excellent cook, used to always watch Julia Child when she came on television. Uh, I will uh, borrow Julia Child's words and say, this is Father Cooper, bon appetit. <laughs>